Hey guys, so what I want to do today is I want to go ahead and make an adjustment on the TiVo tranche line. Now right now what it's wanting to do is it's wanting to print toward the back of the build plate even though on, in Cure I have the print centered. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I think this center bar is set too far forward for where it needs to be to make everything centered. So I want to just go ahead and just adjust the position of the bar compared to where the print head is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and measure my bed which this bed is a 220 millimeter bed so I'm wanting to go at 110 millimeters so that's going to be on the 11 mark right there then the same from this way 110 which is on the 11 mark essentially right right there it's supposed to be dead center of the bill plate just want to make absolutely sure. Yep. Yep, that will be correct. So right there. So I'm going to drop a print into Cura for a nice fresh print. I'm going to go ahead and start the print. I want to see if it is centered there. And wherever it's centered at, I want to figure out where that position is, and that's how far I need to move this plate. So first, let's go ahead and drop something into Cura. Okay, so now we're inside Cura, so I wanted to just bring something into here that's fairly small. I'm probably just going to go with... I thought I had a cube in here, but I do not. Let's just go ahead and just go with a Marvin. Oh, Bunny Marvin, there we go. I'm going to go with this little Bunny Marvin. Now, this is where it's supposed to be centered in the build plate. I want to go up into settings and make absolutely sure that I don't have any offsets. Okay, so I have 220, 220 by 200 on height. And I don't have, I have a nozzle offset of 19. Okay, now that was to make it centered from side to side. Actually, let's just go ahead and set that to zero. And then that way, if I need to reset that offset, I can do that later on. But I want to find out where, naturally, where this is wanting to land at. So let's just go ahead and slice that. Save it to the SD card. And now let's go ahead and try it on the printer. To make this fairly easy for us to see, I'm going to go ahead and go with the AMZ 3D Yellow. That way, it won't be any problem on seeing exactly where everything's landing at. Okay, we're going to start printing that Bunny Marvin right now. So I'm just going to take this little piece of tape, stick it right where the center should be, and put a nice dot right there so we know exactly where that's supposed to be at. Okay, so right there we've got the outer layer going down. We can just go ahead and cancel the print right now. Just kind of move everything off to the side here. So we know right now the center of where it's printing is right here. Let's put a little piece of tape there and I'll put a dot right in the center of where it is printing. That's where it thinks the center is. Now, previously I did take and do a 19 millimeter offset and honestly that's probably about right. Let's see, Let's go over just put my ink in right there for the moment. Actually, 15 millimeters would be probably about right. So I can change that to 15 on the offset for the side one. 15 millimeters isn't bad, but anytime you try doing offsets when it comes to this part, that's where it turns into a real headache. 
The next thing I want to do is I want to find out how far I need to move this. So there's my center there. I need to go 50 millimeters back in order to fix it. And as you can see, my end stop, well, you can't see it on here, but the end stop is all the way to the end of the rail. So there's no way for me to move the end stop back another 50 millimeters. So in order to do that, what I'm going to have to do is move the print bed itself, the whole T-unit, move it back. So let's get into that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of tape and stick it right on this T-bar, just mainly so that it's touching on the edge of it's touching right where this bar comes out this way just so I can use that as a measuring point of from where I'm starting at okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to take an allen wrench and I want to loosen up the little bracket that holds there's an angle bracket that's on both sides of this that hold the this piece in place I want to loosen those up There's going to be a total of four of these to loosen. There's those, and then there's going to be two more at the back of it. Now I'm not loosening the side-to-side -side motion of it, just the forward and backward motion. There we go. Once they're all loosened, the next thing we've got to do is we've got to move it 50 millimeters toward the back. Okay, so I have my tape just set right there. So I'm going to have to take another piece of tape this is just kind of the way I fear might be the easiest way of doing it. Come back 50 millimeter. And that's going to be is that it? That's 50 millimeter. Or pretty close to it. So now I can take that piece off. I mainly had that one there just in case something should happen to slide on me and it didn't. Now I just need to take and slide this back. Keeping the frame straight. Now I have to make sure I got everything lined up here in just a moment once I get it slid to the point where the tape is starting to touch that rail. Now I want to make sure Both of these rails are in line. So I'm going to take and set this ruler down, put it up against this one side over here. Make sure everything looks straight and it looks good. Okay, so now I'll tighten everything back up. Okay, so now that the frame is back in place, and I put the memory card back in the computer, I want to go back up here to the settings, and I want to go to printer, manage printers, I want to adjust the TiVo Tarantula, which is going to be the machine settings, and then I want to do the X offset of 15 millimeters, because that's what we just figured out should work for the side to side motion. Close that, close that. And that should offset at just 15 millimeters. We should be good on that part. As far as front to back, that was adjusted by moving that rail. Let's go ahead and save that model. Eject it. And let's try printing with it. Okay, so I've got the Bunny Marvin printing again. Now once again, if I have everything set, it should start printing right there instead of over to that side. As you can see now it sets way back further than what it normally would. Let's 
pull that film off of there. There we go. Okay, so it is circling the tape. Now just go ahead and stop the print. There's my tape with the dot. There's the circle around it. By rights it could go back another two or three millimeters, but that is good enough for me. I am happy with that. Side to side, it looks good, so the offset and cure -off took care of that for the X axis axis. But by moving that back 50 millimeters, it brought us pretty pretty close to in range right there. I am happy with that. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Tee Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.